Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris. So, here's what I'm going to do. The next patch is going to have quite a lot of new features and gameplay improvements. I'm just going to do a bunch more episodes of this series. Maybe try to attack the Fallen Empire, but I'm going to need a lot more battleships for that. And once the new patch is released, I will likely start a new game. That's what we're going to do. Meanwhile, I'm actually going to release my Vassal, because they are militarists and they seem to have full orbital bombardment policy, which means every time I go to war and they join that war, I get a stacking happiness penalty on all my planets every time they bombard the planet. So that's kind of bad. And I checked how long it would take to integrate them. It would take 35 years. That's just way too much. I'd rather just release them. And we can attack them and conquer them, because why the heck not? In fact, that's way faster than actually integrating them. So there we go. I'll just have to wait before I can declare war on them. But that's okay. We can always declare war on other people. Alright, so let's use maximum speed. And I'm going to need a lot more battleships. Upgrade. Anything else we can upgrade? Let's have a look. Yep, we can upgrade some mining networks. Physics lab. Yeah, I'm lagging behind in physics research quite a bit, unfortunately. Let's just get some physics labs like so. And yep, more upgrades. Power plant. We can get a bio lab upgrade. Mining network. Let's see. Yeah, sticks with physics labs. And mining network again. Alright. Bio lab. House food here. Six food. We'll need one more farm on this planet because this is not going to be enough. Did we ever build a frontier clinic here? Yes, we did. Alright, hydroponics farm. Can we build a dome? We already have one from the looks of it. Alright then, next. Nothing we can upgrade on this planet. I already queued up a bunch of buildings here. Alright, looks like we're good. We can get another science lab or two. Or four. Well, we'll want science labs on these tiles anyway. Might as well build them. Although, this planet seems to need more food. Let's just queue up one more farm over here. Alright, looks good. Do we want to colonize any more planets? Possibly. Let's take a look around. There are still some pretty good planets to colonize. I'm still thinking about colonizing one of these. It would be a fairly aggressive move, but we can do it. There's still that size 24 desert planet, but I would definitely get another penalty with these guys. It shouldn't be too bad. We are getting minus 33 from border friction. It might be worth colonizing it. There's quite a lot of science over there. What's going on? Anti-alien task force. Alright. Right here. So what's the actual effect of that? I don't think there is one really. Also, I don't actually control this observation outpost because it's in a sector. It's a little bit annoying. But, oh well, Colony it is what it is. Do we need complete. any more upgrades of our ships? I think we got them all by now. Looks like we got them all, yes. Alright, let's send them all to Earth in that case. It will be less confusing that way. So, off you go. We'll just merge them into one dome stack. These guys are still upgrading. Off you go then. Alright. And new planets. So let's see. I should probably assign that to a sector right away. But we can start a farm or two. Frontier Clinic first, obviously. Remove that. And we can build a farm. And we'll just assign that to a sector. Is there any sector nearby? No, looks like this will have to be its own separate sector. Which is fine, I can get like three more sectors, if not more than that. Let's have a look, planets. Six out of eleven, yeah, that's not a problem at all then. 
done and set the policy, maybe. Let's have a look. That's the one. Keep it on 50% and we can switch it to financial focus. Alright, sounds good to me. I can give them some minerals. Maybe not Research energy, complete. because I'll need more energy myself. We got one more colony. That's still underway, this one over here. Also, I think we need Ships to build a few things here, yep. Complete. Let's grab a construction ship right away. There we go. Alright, and yes, I'll need more energy. I do have a few power plants that I'm not working on at the moment. So I guess we can just move some population around. Yeah, this one, for example, has food on this planet, plus 10. We can probably move one guy of food. That's a Zinozu over there, to improve our happiness a bit. We can move one guy of minerals. We're getting plus 337 minerals, so that's not really a problem. Let's check some other planets. Yep, we can move one guy here. House food, plus 13. So we can swap one guy. Put him on food. Okay, looks good. Next. I'm sure we can get more energy. I can just build more power plants. We can build another one here. Sure, let's just build one, why not? And what about this planet? Minus 11. Well, we can build a power plant here. We got some space. Not worth building a power hub on a planet that's not really generating any energy. Upgrade. And Earth. Upgrade the mining network. Alright, looks good. And we have to pick new research. What can we research? Particle lands. That's worse than the Tachyon beam, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's double check. The Tachyon Lance was a tech from the Fallen Empire. So that's definitely going to be better. 16.11 damage. Yeah. Right, so we can just ignore the Particle Lance. No point researching that. What can we research that would actually be useful? Let's see. 38,000. Wow, that's one expensive tech. Okay, but plus 100% shield damage. Let's see. Yeah, most of these techs are actually pointless, because I got better shields than this. So researching advanced shields is a complete waste of time. Ion Disruptor. The Face Disruptor is better, right? Yes, it is. I guess I could go for Face Disruptor, or Guardian Point Defense, right, I could use better Point Defense, because I only got the really basic one, so let's go for that one. Art Science output is actually pretty good, for a tech that costs 32,000 science, or 33, finishing it in 44 months is pretty good. Alright, let's check the planet. Oh yeah, we need to assign that to a sector, I suppose, so this sector down here will work, I guess. And let's grab a construction ship right away. We'll get some energy. Alright, and let's queue up a few things before we assign it. Let's see, Frontier Clinic first. One hydroponics farm. And we can clear some of this crap, I suppose. Alright, and we'll just assign it to the sector. No problem. This one. What's this sector called? Mindos. Okay then. Let's have a look. Right here. Done. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, and that's plus 89 energy. So it's fixed. Do we want to colonize their desert planet then? I think so. It's a pretty good one. We'll get some science out of it. I think it's worth colonizing. 
but that means we have to grab, let's see, the guys with Arid preference. I don't actually have a race with Desert preference, I don't think so. No, I'm pretty sure I don't. Do we actually have any colony ships right now? Let's have a look. We can check it real quick. Oh yeah, we actually got one. Oh yeah, we do have one colony ship with Arid preference right now. So that's 60% for desert, but that wasn't the desert planet. This is the desert planet. Let's colonize it then. Yeah, let's go for it. These guys have plus 10% happiness. Also plus 15% food. And plus 10% habitability. These are actually really nice. Alright, colonize. And right here. We'll get another penalty with the Fallen Empire, but it shouldn't be too bad. And they will not attack us. We're still in the positives. You have to drop to like minus 100 or so to make them attack you. And what about the other Fallen Empire? Yeah, we're fine. But we wouldn't be fine if I changed my AI policy. Because I'm pretty sure I can change my AI policy by now. I can, but it would definitely piss them off. The problem is that I'm also taking a happiness penalty for some of my pops because of that policy specifically. So if I check some of the planets... Let's see... These guys, for example, yeah, minus 10% because AI is outlawed. So that's kind of harsh. Minus 5% here. Minus 10%. Yeah, I got a happiness penalty on most of my planets. Because AI is outlawed. These guys don't care. Minus 10% again. Yeah, that's not so good. But I don't want to fight two fallen empires at the same time. If anything, I would prefer to attack these guys instead, because these are way more annoying. Because they actually actively affect my policies. While the other Fallen Empire doesn't, they just kind of sit there and don't do anything. So unless I start expanding close to them, they won't really care about the fact I exist. But, like I said, we need a far bigger fleet than we got right now. Research like, at complete. least 50,000, if not more than that. So, I don't know about that. Merge. We got 43,000 right now. Well, more, because we got more ships. I'm not even 100% convinced that's going to be enough. I'm not sure if 50,000 is going to be enough. Plus 5% ship hull points. Okay, then. What can we go for next? I could just grab some of these really cheap techs. That's less than 6,000, just to get it out of the way. It will only take a year. Not a problem. Alright. And there's the planet. I might actually keep that one, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. And we need to bring a construction ship. So, research station... Oh yeah, observation post. That means I should keep it, because if I assign it to the sector, I won't have direct control over the observation post. Which is kind of irritating. But yeah, also, complete. this system also needs some stuff. Research stations... And I think we got everything. Yep, looks like that's everything. Nope, almost. It's not everything. Mining stations. This is out of range, unfortunately, and this system is also out of range. I could colonize that one, that's also a desert planet. It wouldn't be a terrible idea. It would get some energy, some science. I'll think about it. How many pops do we have now? 280 on 39 planets, all right? Science doesn't really matter as much anymore. I got all the important techs. There aren't any crucial techs anymore. Not really. So, more battleships, because we're not building any on Earth. Let's just queue them up. I think we have enough battleships with the... whatever it was called. 
so we'll just build the regular ones. Maybe not three at the same time, that's too much minerals. And yep, this one. And can we build battleships on more planets? No, but we can build some cruisers. The cruisers are still pretty good. We can build a bunch. Yep, build some cruisers here, and that's that. I think I'll wait to get 60,000 or so. What's their fleet strength compared to ours? Still superior, alright. Here's the thing, I don't want to lose my entire fleet after going to war, because that would be kind of bad, you know? That would be kind of really bad. Let's not risk that. Size 25 Tundra planet. I should colonize at least that one. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. We should definitely grab it. So what's the best pop for Tundra? I think we had some pops that can colonize Tundra. Quite well. Oh yeah, these guys will have 60%. Yeah, that's fine, I suppose. Alright, let's get another colony ship in that case. And go for the 10% happiness bonus, perhaps, right here. Yeah, sounds good. And I think that's going to be the last planet we'll be colonizing for now. Unless I want to grab one of these. It would be kind of aggressive. Construction complete. There's an alliance here, not that I really care, I could conquer them quite easily, if I wanted to. There's the planet, I think I'll keep it for now. Shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah, we'll keep it. So, Frontier Clinic first. Right here, I suppose. And we'll clear some of the blockers on food. To get a few hydroponics farms up. Alright, carry on. Let's check our planets really quick. Complete. We need some upgrades from the looks of it. Just upgrade everything. Might as well do that. There we go, and our research is done again. Anything interesting in here? Fighter wing, bomber wing, engineering facility. I mean, I suppose I could grab that, but our engineering research is more than fine. Plus 5% ship hull points. Hey, I could just go for that. But let's unlock basic fighter wing and a bomber wing. Why not? Alright then. Maybe we'll get a late game crisis. Because I've not had one in this game yet. That would be interesting. But there's no way to actually make it happen, you have to wait. Who knows? For now, let's keep building up our fleet. I'll probably wait until at least 60,000 or so. Like I said, I don't want to risk losing my entire fleet in one engagement with the Fallen Empire, because that would be a disaster. I would have to spend, like, several episodes rebuilding my fleet again. Let's not do that. Construction complete. Okay, more physics labs. It's on par with society research right now. Let's grab another biolab, why not? I don't want to fall behind in society research either. We're still nowhere close to our naval capacity. 529. Hey, I could just build up to naval capacity and then we definitely won't have any problems beating the Fallen complete. Empire, that's for sure. Also, I think I'll be able to attack the purple guys soon again. How long do we have to wait? Only one more year. So, if I want to declare war on them, I could. Construction they complete. are... what? They are collectivist pacifists. Okay, they are also pacifists. So I could vassalize them if I want to. We'll see. Might be better to just conquer them, honestly. 
Integrating vassals takes way too long, it's easier to just conquer them. Anything else we can build here? Yes, we can. And we need a few upgrades. So the dad house food, plus eight. Should be good enough. Basic science lab. And what else? I could build a planetary shield generator, I suppose. Yeah, let's build that. Why not? Just in case. Probably won't be needed, but just in case it is needed. What else? Power hub? I don't think we need a power hub here. Okay, sabotage. Let's take a look. That's inside the sector, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Minus 25% happiness. Yeah, okay, that explains it. Let's pause this for a moment. Recently conquered. Minus 25%. Yeah, that's the problem here. Minus 20% because of alien overlords. Alright. Well then, that's kind of not good. Plus 10% xenophobia. Well, I can't do much about that. I don't even control this planet directly. Having said that, I could remove it from the sector and build a paradise dome. That would be plus 10%. That's probably the best way to resolve this, or I can just ignore it. It's just one planet in the end. We don't really have to care about it that much. Once the 25% penalty goes away, it shouldn't be too bad. It's the penalty that's so bad, but it will go away with time. Yeah, it's not much better on the other planets either. Minus 25. The minus 25 is just harsh. We have to wait for that to go away. What's going on? Task force activities. Again, that's the observation outpost that I don't control directly. Complete. Not that it would change much if I did. Okay. Let's check the spaceports. Construction More battleships. There we go. We got 9,000 minerals. We can queue up some more. There. Alright. And more cruisers, I guess. That definitely won't hurt. I think we're at 50,000 by now. Yeah, we are definitely at 50,000. Merge. We are almost at 60,000, in fact. Yeah. Nice. And I'm still nowhere close to my naval capacity. Not even remotely close. Construction complete. Leader died. Who died? Admiral died. Alright. Do we have any other admirals? No, we do not. Might as well hire one then. Let's see. Minus 15% ship upkeep. I like that one a lot. Let's grab that guy. Nice. Alright then. Let's check the Fallen Empire one more time. Fleet power is superior still. Alright, we'll wait some more. Construction complete. And the colony ship is probably done by now. Let's colonize this planet then. That's the one. Okay then. Tundra. Go, go, go. And I'll add it to the sector. Right away. As soon as we colonize it. And what about this one? Size 10. That's not really good enough to bother with that. Subject integration began. That's not mine. So I don't complete. really care. The integration takes such a long time. Yep, again. But as I said, we just have to wait for that penalty to go away. Okay, it's gone here. That's much better. 49%, 54%. I could really use a Paradise Dome on that planet. I could remove it from the sector, build a Paradise Dome and then add it again. I would have to pay some influence, but it's probably worth it. I don't think it's a lot of influence. Let's just check. I think it's like 25 or something like that. Yeah, 25 to remove the system. Well, 
if I'm going to do that, we have to add one of the planets to a sector. But I'd rather keep the desert planet here, especially since there's an observation outpost. In fact, I should build... No, we already have one. Right, just change to aggressive observation. And we can build some hydroponics farms, like so. And another one. And another one. So which planet can we add? a sector. It would be nice to just increase the sector limit, but I still can't do that. Another upgrade. No one is working that, but that's fine. No need to build any more farms. Power hub? We don't really need a power hub here. Plus 11.7. I mean, I suppose I could still build one, but Free energy and plus 10%. No, we're better off with an upgraded power plant. Because I can upgrade the power plant more than I can upgrade the power hub. Right? Where do we have some power hubs? Power plant free. There should be a power hub here, somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. Power plant, power plant. Power plant. Is there no power hub? Yeah, there is a power hub here. Actually, maybe I was wrong. Power hub 2. What's the bonus on this tile? Construction style? complete. I think we should actually build a power hub there. It will cost some influence. But that's okay, we're getting 6 influence. That's not really a big deal. Research complete. And the research is done. Okay, what can we get next? Something useful would be nice. Strike craft attack speed. I suppose we could grab that. I don't really care about armored torpedoes all that much. Yeah, let's at least get something that will help us. And we're about to finish plus 10% border range. I need a plus one core planet tech from society. That's what we need. Let's see if we can actually get it right now. More battleships. Okay, looks good. And more cruisers. Let's check the planets. Oh, a lot of upgrades needed here. All right. We have to upgrade literally everything. I guess that's because we finished the planetary capital or whatever. Power hub, power plant. Well, this will be quite a bit of extra power, I suppose. Let's actually upgrade things that are being worked actively at the moment. We can do the rest later. Physics lab. Another upgrade. Power plant. And we're out of minerals right now. That's fine. Clear. Plus three food. But we still have one hydroponics farm. Complete. So, plus 10% border range. And I just saw our borders expand. Very nice. I wonder if we grab any systems. You know, there should be some notification when you get a new system due to border growth. What can we get? Gene Warrior Army. We could go for that. Naval Capacity, I don't need that. Army Health. Yeah, let's just go for the Rare Tech. Why the heck not? Sure, we'll go for that. Speaking of armies, I think Colony we should recruit a Defense Army. Just in case we'll need it. We probably won't. But you never know. We'll get some regardless. I think we got one everywhere. Yes, we do. And maybe we should recruit an offensive army too. Hey, we still have a transport fleet here, really? Yes, really, and I can't land. Alright. We can land elsewhere. In that case. Construction complete.
Oh, that's a little bit out of the way. Yeah, okay, hold on. That's too far away. I need some planet that's slightly closer than that. What is another planet that's close and we actually control it directly? This one, actually. Yeah, we can land there, that's fine. Off you go. Yeah, most planets near our starting area are assigned to sectors. Which is fine. I mean, with our travel method, moving around is pretty quick. It's not really a big deal. 9 out of 7, right, now I kind of have to assign one planet to a sector. Or technically I don't, but I want to. This one, basically. Yep, this one. Let's see, do we want to queue up any more buildings? One more hydroponics farm. And let's just add it to the sector. Let's have a look. What's this? This sector has an energy deficit. Okay, we can send them some energy, I suppose. But first, let's add the planet. Okay, good enough. That's 7 out of 7. Let's see, yeah, looks like we have to send them some energy. Which is fine, we got 4500. Here, enjoy your energy. And you can get some minerals as well. Have fun! Anyone else in need of some resources? Not really. Looks like it's all fine. Carry on then. Construction so how's our fleet at this point? We should be way over 60,000 by now. Merge and send them all to Earth. Yeah, we got more than 60,000 now. Diplomatic insult. I don't care about your insults, but who insulted us? Aindar Kairaki. No idea where they are. Right here. What? These guys? Okay. I don't really care about your existence. So, whatever. Did we get any new systems from that border growth. Yeah, we actually got this one. And we need to survey it. Alright. Did we piss off the Fallen Empire? We are still at plus 21. We didn't even get that much border friction. Construction Way less than I expected, so this is fine. 100% fine. Alright, let's remove some more blockers while we wait for population growth, because this will take a while. And I suppose we can build... An observatory? Yeah, sure. Observatory. And expand the spaceport. Looks good. 61,000. Well, more than complete. that. Merge. 63,000. The others are still on the way. So it's around 65 at the moment. Let's check the Fallen Empire again. Still superior! Well, I mean, I can still build a lot of ships. We're only at 364 out of 549. But I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.